you're a lot of things. You're a Renaissance woman. You're a DJ. And actually, is that what you would call yourself, a DJ? Or would you give yourself... I say like more musician. Musician, making okay. making more music this past year than okay. I am. I, I'm really, I mean, yeah, I'm really so. ignorant when it comes to the music industry. <laughs> so like, I don't... Me too, don't. You know what I mean? I don't want to be like, you're a DJ and that means one thing and you do something else. I, you know what I mean? Um, but I, like I was telling you before we started the podcast... I looked you up a while ago, just like, oh, I wonder what she's doing. Or maybe you posted a link to something and you were playing a show in, I think it was in Mexico. I think maybe Mexico City. Yeah. And it was, was it color. Was it indoors or like colors? It indoors? was outside. Okay. And it was, was fucking huge. Yeah. And the crowd was going insane yeah. for you. And I was like, oh my God. Like I knew that you'd moved on. I, you know, see that you'd like publish books, you know, and I, and I knew that you were doing well, but to see like the scale of your fan base, just going crazy for your music. I would, I have to admit, I was really, I was really happy for you. Oh, thank you. I was like, this is so great. This is you know, because we talk a lot in adult. <laughs> I always say that like adults, like the black hole, it's like you have to move faster than the speed of light to get out. Otherwise, the force of gravity just pulls you back in okay. and you like got out like and that is something it's not a success story for everybody. And a lot of people have tried. 